This is the NES Advantage. It is a joystick that you can use instead of the standard controller. It has extra features that are designed to make games easier to play. There is a slow motion feature that is designed to slow down gameplay if the game is too difficult. There are also turbo buttons that boost the player's firepower, letting him shoot faster than he normally could. The NES Advantage is manufactured and sold by Nintendo Company Limited. There are hundreds of games produced by American and Japanese companies that work on the Nintendo control deck. The NES Advantage joystick will affect gameplay in almost all of these games. The NES Advantage and Game Genie are both products that you can buy for your Nintendo control deck to give you more choice about how you play your games. The NES Advantage lets you play in slow motion or can increase your firepower making the games easier to play. The Game Genie can give you nine lives instead of three lives or increase your jumping power, also making your games easier to play. The NES Advantage can decrease your jumping power so that you can't jump as high, stop you jumping altogether, or reduce your maximum speed, all making your games more difficult to play. The Game Genie can give one life instead of three lives, make you stay little and never grow big, or speed up the timer so you have to hurry also making your games more difficult to play. So Game Genie and the NES Advantage both let players adjust the way their games are played. There are various other ways to do this. The Power Glove by Mattel has a programmable keypad to let you customize gameplay. And the NES Max from Nintendo has turbo buttons for increased firepower. And also the U-Force from Broderbund which can make gameplay harder and has turbo rapid fire for high speed play. So you can see there are many products that you can buy for your Nintendo that let you customize gameplay for your games. This is the character toad part way through the game Super Mario Brothers 2. the large hole that he must jump to continue in the game. As you can see, he's not running fast enough to jump the hole. He goes back for run-up and presses the B button on the controller to use his fast running ability. So, by running fast, he easily jumps over the large hole and continues in the game. Now using the Advantage joystick from Nintendo with its turbo feature, we will try and play the same game. Again, Toad runs up to the hole and realizes he is not running fast enough to jump the hole, so he goes back for a run-up. But because of the Advantage joystick, Toad cannot use his fast running ability. This makes further gameplay impossible, as Toad cannot run fast enough to jump over the hole. Notice the copyright message at the bottom of the screen and the trademark by the title. This is the same game Super Mario Bros. 2 played with the standard controller. The story of the game is also shown. Now we'll start the game. Here you can select the character you want to be in the game. I will select Mario. The game begins and Mario starts on his adventure. This time I will play Super Mario Bros. 2 using Advantage Joystick with a slow motion feature. The Advantage Joystick has stopped the game's story appearing and completely bypassed the copyright and trademark notices. Again, I will select Mario. starts, the screen flashes uncontrollably, and Mario cannot move at all. Gameplay is no longer possible.
This is the game Super Mario Brothers, played normally without the Advantage joystick. When Mario picks up a mushroom, he grows into Super Mario. Notice how he jumps over these green tubes and can continue through the game. Now we'll try and play Super Mario Brothers using the Advantage joystick with its turbo feature. You will now see that Mario cannot jump as high as normal. He cannot jump high enough to get the mushroom. He cannot even jump over the second green tube. Mario is stuck. Gameplay is no longer possible. Please notice the message that says copyright 1985 Nintendo. Now I'm playing Super Mario Brothers without the Advantage joystick. When the game starts, you will hear that there is music playing. Now I'm playing Super Mario Brothers with the Advantage joystick. You will notice that the Advantage joystick has made it skip past the copyright message. You will also notice that the music is completely distorted and the gameplay is jerky, making it very difficult. This is the game Donkey Kong 3 by Nintendo. Please notice the copyright message at the bottom of the screen. I will now start the game. You will see Mario jumping around the bottom of the screen and shooting upwards. This is Donkey Kong 3 again, but this time using the Advantage joystick with the slow motion feature. You can see the copyright message was not shown. The screen only shows uncontrollable flashing. Gameplay is not possible, and the music is badly distorted. This is the game Pac-Man, played with the normal controller. Pac-Man is the copyright of Namco Limited and is produced by Tengen, not Nintendo. Please notice the copyright notice being displayed and the game characters Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde being introduced. Pac-Man is one of the most famous games in the world. Now you can see the game starting, along with the music and sound effects. Again, this is Pac-Man. This time we are using the Advantage joystick with its slow motion feature. You will notice that the Advantage joystick forced the game to start after Namco Limited Copyright's message, and also without introducing the characters. The music and sound effects are also completely distorted. All of these abnormalities are caused by the slow motion feature of the Advantage joystick.
This is the game The Legend of Zelda. Please notice the copyright and trademark notices being displayed. The story is introduced and important treasures and objects in the game are displayed to help you when you play the game. When I press the start button, I can enter my name. Now I will play The Legend of Zelda. This is the game The Legend of Zelda using the Advantage joystick with its slow motion feature. The copyright and trademark notice were not displayed. The story was not displayed. The important treasures were not displayed. The same screen goes up and down uncontrollably. Gameplay is not possible. All of these abnormalities are caused by the Advantage joystick. This is the game Mario Brothers. There is a copyright message at the bottom of the title screen. When the game starts, you can hear the Mario Brothers music. Mario jumps around trying to defeat the terrible turtles. This is the game Mario Brothers, using the Advantage joystick with its slow motion feature. The copyright message is not displayed. The game is frozen. The graphics are flashing and the music is distorted. Gameplay is totally impossible. Mario cannot move. This is the game Batman. The player has reached the second level of the game. Batman can either punch his enemies or jump over them. Batman must jump up the ledges or jump up the shaft on the left to progress further in the game. This is Batman using the Advantage joystick with its turbo feature. Batman cannot jump as high as normal, so he has to punch out his enemies instead of jumping over them. Here, Batman cannot even jump high enough to jump onto the first ledge. However hard he tries, he can only jump half as high as he normally could. Batman cannot reach the walls of the shaft either. Batman is stuck. Gameplay is no longer possible as Batman cannot get any further.
This is the game Excitabyte played with a normal controller. This is the speed that your bike can normally ride. By pressing the B button, you can go at this faster speed. When using the Advantage joystick with its turbo feature, your bike rides much slower. Even pressing the B button only helps a little. Obviously, the game is unplayable at this speed. That was just a small selection of examples where Nintendo's Advantage joystick causes undesired effects in games. It should be noted that their device is designed for use on many games, most of which are not the copyright of Nintendo. We are not showing you this because we think the Advantage joystick should be banned, but to clearly demonstrate that any tool can cause undesired effects if not used correctly. Game players are very used to odd things happening while they are playing games. Indeed, they expect them to happen. If an undesired effect happens, whatever the cause, it is not a great calamity to a games player. He simply stops doing whatever it is that causes the undesired effect and plays the game again. As you have seen, so-called undesired effects can be caused by using peripherals with the game. But they also happen in certain circumstances without any of the peripherals. Just the game, the control deck, and the standard controller. This is the game Bugs Bunny, with no Game Genie and no Advantage joystick. When a player reaches the end of a level, he is given a password that will allow him to start a new game at the same level. We will enter the password Z, Z, P, S. This will make the game start on level 4. It functions perfectly normally. Now we will play Bugs Bunny again. This time, the only difference is that we will use a different password. I will enter J, O, 3, Y. The screen display says that we'll start on stage seven. Instead, you will see that the screen is completely corrupted and frozen. Gameplay is impossible. I will now play again using another password. shows that the game should start on stage 94. As you will see, the screen is full of garbage. Again, we are stuck. I will now
I'll play again using a different password. I will enter SMSJ as a password and start the game. As a final example of the volatile nature of video games, I will show the game Kid Icarus. This is normal gameplay using the standard controller. Kid Icarus can jump, shoot bullets, and climb up towards the top. He can go through doors and fall off the bottom and die. This is the same game, but using the Advantage joystick with its turbo feature. You can see that Kid Icarus can no longer jump high enough to get onto the first ledge. Obviously, further gameplay is not possible. I'm trying to use the slow motion feature of the Advantage joystick. You will have seen that the game started instantly, without the introduction screen, and that there is a great deal of flashing and strange graphics. Again, gameplay is not possible. Now I will play Kid Icarus without the Advantage joystick. This time I will enter a secret word. The purpose of these words is to allow a player to start a new game where he left off. Again, you will see that gameplay is not possible because the screen is not displaying part of the game. It is displaying a frozen black screen with some odd shapes on it. We hope that we have demonstrated that these sort of strange effects are commonplace in the video game arena. Because of the nature of the game genie, it can be used to create very similar strange effects, as Nintendo has demonstrated on their video. But when these strange effects are looked at in context, it should be clear that nobody's reputation or honor is being harmed. The game genie is a tool. If a game player uses the tool to create an effect that he does not like, he will know that it is him that created the effect not the game designers.